jealous. All right, so. There's nothing like watching a student experience what it's like to be a teacher. So I teach Child Development 1 and Child Development 2 and we run a fully operational preschool in our program. And so it really gives students the opportunity to be in leadership positions. But I love that we can give them those or like really true skills that are gonna help them whatever they go into. And I feel like they learn a lot. One, two, three. Ms. Simone is, uh, is unique and uh, I think talented in the sense that she uses or she wears two hats in this building. Uh, the first hat is obviously as a CHS faculty member, a teacher of our students, our Catonsville High School students who are in the uh, child care development program. But then she also has to wear the hat of a preschool facilitator or manager. And she has to make sure that she's uh, preparing our Catonsville High School students to be able to run this fully functioning preschool. So it's really impressive. As a student, I really struggled in school and I didn't always feel supported by my teachers. And I watched my mother, who was a teacher, I'd really go that extra mile for her students. And it was always just so awesome to see. And I knew that I had the skills and the fortitude to really do that for my students. I'll say the reason why she's my favorite teacher is because during the process of me figuring out my career, um, I, wanted, I wanted to be a nurse midwife. I was thinking, I was like, do, why is this important to me? And she really helped me take child development into turning into something that meant something to me. So I think it's interesting to see which kids seem to have an idea of what they're doing, and which of our friends are not understanding the directions. So that's something you can also write down on your case study. I love that I help cultivate young teacher leaders in my students. It's really great to work at a school where you're seeing the future of education every single day.